Quitting smoking can, of course, be an uphill battle, and it can oftentimes lead to frustrating relapses. According to the CDC, fewer than 1 in 10 adult smokers are successful in quitting each year. Wow, that's, what is that? I know, but that statistic could soon change with the help of magic mushrooms. Yeah, you heard that right. Researchers at Johns Hopkins Medicine are working with psilocybin, the psychedelic substance found in those magic mushrooms, to help break addictions like smoking. For more, we're joined by NBC News medical fellow, Dr. Akshay Sile. Dr. Sile, so interesting. Thanks for being here with us. So this is something you went out, you saw for yourself at Johns Hopkins Psychedelics Research Center. Tell us what you saw and how it works. Well, good morning, Savannah and Joe. You know, this this place is a, it's a psychedelic research center, and it looks like any old therapist's office. You have mm. a couch, you have the warm lighting. <laughs> um, but if you look a little bit closer, it's a little bit different. You know, there's a blood pressure monitor. They look at your heart rate. I mean, essentially, you have these warm, inviting rooms, which, you know, almost looks like what I imagine Jimi Hendrix's bedroom looked like. You have a tie-dye <laughs> color rock, and it, oh it looks God. like it's, they're studying psychedelics there. And, um, you know, basically, you have these supervised sessions. You have patients who are getting dosed with uh, psilocybin, the compound in magic mushrooms, inside of these controlled, safe mm -hmm. environments. And you have a, a psychologist who's monitoring you during these sessions as well. And you spoke with a woman who'd been trying to quit or had been smoking for 40 years and did after just one session. What did yeah, she tell I'm you? Yeah, blown away. It, it was pretty remarkable, you know, and what she's saying is that after this session, all her cravings were gone. And, you know, she quit smoking 12 times before, um, but every time she had quit, she'd always wanted a cigarette, both emotionally and physically. Um, take a listen to what she had to say and hear for yourself. Is, is there a part of you that's like, this is a little nuts? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really, it, it's still stunning that I, you know, that this that this one session was able to break a habit that was literally a 40-year habit for me. And, and so what she said to me was this was almost like flipping a switch. As soon as she walked out of there, her cravings just disappeared. Wow. It's interesting to hear her say, yeah, it's kind of nuts. You know, that's how we feel. Um, okay, so I know that these sessions are monitored by a therapist. Talk us through what that looks like, what the session's like, and then, you know, I don't even really know what an average patient is in this scenario. I don't think it's like the average person who's not in one of these centers, but what does it look like for most people? Is she rare? Well, so the important thing is this is psilocybin and psychotherapy or talk therapy uh -huh. as people commonly refer to. You know, this isn't just, you know, us going out and getting psilocybin and going to a cabin in Woodstock and, you know, we forget all of our bad <laughs> habits. That's not really what's going on here. This is, this is psilocybin <laughs> combined with therapy. You really need that therapy to guide you in the right direction here. So don't just think if you go out into the woods that you're going to be able to quit smoking. You really need that medical support all the way around. <laughs> Woodstock specifically. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I mean, you're funny. The, we know there is a lot of research that's being done on this. We were just talking about a similar thing with alcohol and getting yeah. people yeah. To, to quit drinking. What are you looking out for? as this moves forward, as we continue to research this. You know, in talking to all the experts about this, the big thing is how is this going to be used? How, how is somebody who's quitting, struggling to quit smoking, how can they eventually get their hands on this? And the big thing is, this, you know, doctors aren't trying to get this for recreational use. It's trying to be uh, sort of licensed therapists to use this in a controlled setting. Because every patient we talk to really describes this as a powerful emotional experience, one that you do not want to try at home without the supervision of a doctor. So interesting and yeah. so great to, that they are researching this and to hear more. I know you're making a joke about forgetting your bad habits, but when you hear the multiple things that it's helped with, it does make you think what else is possible. Doctor, thank you so much. Always good to have you with us. Anytime. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.